We're back now with Dennis Lockhart, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, uh, to talk about the economy and uh, when the Fed might start lifting interest rates and other important issues out here at the uh, annual uh, uh, Kansas City Fed Conference in Jackson Hole. And Dennis, thanks once again for joining you, us on Fox Business and foxbusiness.com. Uh, so let's continue our discussion. Uh, you said your outlook is for a moderate growth. Uh, continuing forward. Uh, so, what are you looking at? You know, you figure. Are you looking at you know two and a half, three percent uh, is your current yeah, forecast? I, you know, those are good numbers. I like. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like your predictions there. Yeah. Um, I mean, that would certainly qualify as moderate. Uh, um, let me just put it in perspective. In the second quarter of this year, we've just seen some recent numbers that estimate that we grew at three point seven percent. That's a very healthy rate of growth. That's rebounding from the first quarter. Uh, the third quarter, the quarter we're now in, I would expect to be a bit slower than the second quarter. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to look through these quarter by quarter fluctuations to determine what the underlying trend is. I kind of treat the first quarter as an anomaly. Mm -hmm. So I think the run rate is a moderate pace of growth, two and a half to three percent is a good range to think about. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and, and we're at 5.3 percent on the unemployment rate, Right. Uh, so that continues to grind down or are we almost there as far as, you know, a full employment yeah. economy? Uh, but we also have a lot of people working part-time who can't get full-time mm -hmm. work. So. My, my staff estimates full employment at about 5 percent. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, as you've just pointed out, there are other measures of un and underemployment and the underemployment uh, is layered upon the unemployment, and that gets us up to almost 10 percent, or around 10 percent. Um, so I, I do believe that there is uh, still a considerable amount of slack in the employment markets, particularly represented by underemployment, by people who are working part-time involuntarily. Uh, finally, let's talk about inflation because, as you know, the, you, you have set a, a target of, uh, of 2 percent inflation as a, as a healthy pace of inflation, uh, but it has been way under that, um, large, I know, because of uh, oil, low oil prices mm -hmm. and the high dollar, uh, mm -hmm. lowering the, co the price of, of imports. Um, what's your outlook for inflation? Uh, do you see these as temporary factors and, and that the Fed is on track to getting back to 2% at some point? It's, it's hard to jump to the conclusion that we're on track. If, if, if I were to say we are on track, I would be pointing to some real concrete evidence in the numbers. Mm -hmm. The numbers simply show that we're below target. It's not worsening, but it's certainly static at this stage. Um, However, I do have confidence that if the economy continues this moderate pace of growth, we're able to sustain that. And if uh, the employment markets continue to absorb resources, that in a reasonable period of time, the forces would come together to push that inflation rate up. So uh, we're not going to be at zero, <laughs> the near zero interest rates, uh, short term interest rates forever at some yeah. point they will go up. At some, certainly at some point, I think later this year, uh, you know, to predict the exact meeting, that's a committee decision, it's not my decision. But could it be next year possibly if, if these numbers don't improve? If, if we see, uh, for example, if we were to see events over the last two weeks actually become a material drag on the economy mm -hmm. and it changes our view of the track we're on, then I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't eliminate that possibility. But that's not my baseline view. All right. Dennis Lockhart of the Atlanta Fed, thanks once again Thank you, for Peter. joining us on foxbusiness.com. Thank you. Thank you.